couple weeks into practice. Uh, how do you think the new guys are progressing? Um, I think the new guys is progressing well. Uh, they coming in listening to coaches and all the staff, and they just, you know, listening and just bringing it every day and not, you know, complaining about anything, not, you know, making excuses. So I think the young guys doing a well uh, job, but just listening. Is it easy for you to get out there and, and practice? Obviously, you're used to it, but knowing that you won't get to play right away and don't have to wait a few games? Um, I just try to come in and do whatever the coaches ask me to do. Uh, be the voice on the court and 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 on the court and off the court. I try not to, you know, think negative. I always try to think positive. Not putting myself in front, but also putting my teammates in front of me. So I just try to be that leader on the court and, like I said, off the court by just, you know, talking, doing all the extra things, uh, you know, like listening to coach and just being an extra coach on the court. Is there a hard and fast date that you're aiming to get back? Have they told you, you know, maybe a date to expect that you'll be eligible? Um, I believe I will be eligible December 17th uh, against Manhattan, which is a home game. Uh, but like I said, right now, I'm just, you know, just listening to coaches and being the best player I can be and uh, on and off the court. It's tough to continue your enthusiasm for that since it's been so long since you've actually been in it's not tough. It's just very humbling to me. Um, I, I, I always say to myself, everything happens for a reason. And like I said, I'm blessed to have another opportunity to play um, D1 college basketball for Coach Martin. So I just try to bring myself uh, to like the highest level, which I possibly can uh, you know, play at and you know, be like a leader. Um, so I'm just waiting for the day to come. And for right now, I'm just going to you know, continue to be the best player I can be on, on and off the court and just let everything happen. You mentioned that you had to work with those younger guys a lot to sort of show them how physical the game is going to be. What's that been like for you to sort of take that on? It's been very challenging. Um, it's just certain things that I might want to say, but I had to kind of be patient. But also, I can't be patient because, like I said, the first five games or six games, I'm going to be out. So to be that extra leader and, like I said, to be very competitive like I am, I try to let the young guys know, like, this ain't high school no more. It's college. Everything is at a faster pace. You know, coach is going to be on you, and you just got to listen and just try to do everything the right way. Uh, whether you might be wrong or you might be right, but just come out there and, and just be, uh, like, willing to learn. It's kind of a strange situation where, you know, they, they expect you to be able to play a lot of minutes at point guard, but yet there'll be Jalen, Dwayne, you know, handling it those first few games. Do you think it'll be like an open competition when you come back, or do you view it as you're just holding my job until I get back? Uh, I'm not viewing it any wrong way. Uh, like I said, I'm just doing whatever the coach uh, – Coach Martin and the staff need me to do. If they need me to come in and play, you know, multiple minutes at the point guard, I'm going to do that job. If they need me to play the two, I'm going to play the two. But I'm not, you know, saying, oh, this is my job. I'm not being, you know, cocky about anything. Like I said, I'm just being very humble. And like I said, I'm here for my teammates as well. I'm not just here just for myself. So, like I said, uh, I'm just trying to do whatever coaches might want me to do, and that's about it. Just talk about how the difference in, in the competitiveness of practice compared to last year to what, what you've had so far this first week? Oh, practice has been a lot better uh, this year. Uh, just guys willing to come in and compete. I see guys wanting to come in and get better, get extra shots on themselves, uh, coming in, uh, just doing little things like ball handling and stuff like that. So everything is all translation to practice uh, this year. And uh, like I said, guys just coming in, listening, guys coming in, wanting to compete, guys talking, bringing in uh, like a lot of like energy uh, and things like that. So I just think, uh, from last year to this year, we're heading in the right direction. And not to say last year guys wasn't, you know, you know, like bringing any energy, anything like that. But like I said, I'm just happy for the new beginning, new start for this program. And right now, we're just giving it our all. Talk about your relationship with Michael. He mentioned you guys as kind of leaders last week when we spoke to him. Have you all taken, since y'all were high school teammates and, and both of y'all are actually older players on the team now, is there something that you two maybe do to get everybody else together? I try to tell Mike to be Mike. You know, not in a negative way, but inside a positive way. Uh, me and Mike, like I said, been teammates in high school, won a national championship together. I came in and had to earn Mike respect. Uh, Mike was there before I did, but I came in willing, to, like willing to listen, willing to bring that, you know, energy. And Mike, Mike fed off of me. I was the point guard. You know, Mike said, you know what, this guy is here to win. He's not here to be negative. He's he's not here to do anything by himself. He's here to be with the team. And I think with me coming in here and being new, Mike already know, like, wow. We have a senior, well, not senior, but junior leader inside the point guard. So I don't know, Ty's going to bring it every day. Now I got to feed off Ty and then let these young guys, you know, see the same way how me and Mike bring it every day in practice.